How doing guys, Smart Intelli here. Today we're going to talk about the new tactical alert, Divine Will. Now if you do this mission once on the lower level, you'll get the Oricon Reactor Blueprint. If you do it again on the higher level, either the Endurance, you get the next upgrade to the Strata Emblem. In addition, you have a chance of getting one of the Puncture Event Mods from the Mutilus Incursion Event. Now the drop chance for the Puncture Mod is basically 5.6-ish percent per mod. That is a information I got from Reddit, apparently someone data mined it and that's what it is. Now this event achieved two things, it basically shown us one, the devs can make the game a lot more boring, a lot more frustrating and a lot more grindy. The next fact it shown us is that Warframe as a community, as a game, have a crap ton of knobs. A crap ton of utter pathetic ridiculous knobs. Now we'll get into that shortly, but basically the best way to play this mission is to play a solo. Hands down, play a solo, do not play with anybody else because what you end up doing is rage quitting. Alrighty, so it's an assassination mission and as a result there are two parts. The first part is getting to the assassinating target, in this case the Razorback. The second part is actually assassinating the Razorback. Now killing the Razorback is actually not that difficult. One thing to know about getting to the Razorback room is if you trigger any camera you initiate a lockdown. Once you do a lockdown you have to do a hacking. So the best way to do this is with of course Master Race Loki, do invisibility, you won't have to worry about activating any cameras, won't have to worry about hacking anything. So once you are in the room you gotta assassinate the Razorback. Now you can't damage the Razorback directly, you actually have to wait until one of the bursts appear from one of the four rooms that is guarded by the laser door. So one way of doing it is basically using low key, switch teleport to the bursa, then switch teleport with the razor back to the ground floor again, hack the bursa, wait until the bursa damages the razor back. Once all the shield on the razor back is down, that's when you can actually damage the razor back. Now there is a bit of a trick to this, of course, if you get the razor back to a awkward position and if you can get the isolator bursa in an awkward position it can basically do some massive damage to the razorback as you've just seen here. And of course once the razorback is down you can damage it. Now unfortunately there is a cap on how much damage you can do to the razorback per shot but that cap is obviously not limited to the isolator bursa. Now what the developers actually intended initially for you to do was actually hack one of the consoles corresponding to the laser door and do the laser door so the bursa can jump down, then take out the bursa and so the bursa can damage the razor back. But obviously, you know, Warframe is a game that's been along for so long, there's so many abilities, there's definitely, I don't want to call it exploits, but there's definitely abilities that we can utilize ourselves uh, to get around what the developers actually intend us to do, not unlike what we see in spy missions. Now obviously this particular isolator bursa is unable to trigger that, I don't know if you want to call it a bug or whatever it is, but it's unable to damage the Razorback directly, so it lowers shield so we can damage it for a bit. Now I can't really say how much damage is capped at, but I think it's about 10% of the total Razorback HP, uh, so once you do that damage it basically regains its shield and you need to repeat the process. So that is pretty much it, it's pretty simple, so this Bursa will damage it to the last point, will damage its shield, and then I'll kill it for the last 10%-ish of its HP. There we go. Now when this event first started, obviously a lot of people weren't sure what to do. Now for the first couple missions, even in Endurance, I've literally seen Rhinos, Valkyrs, just unloading clip after clip of Soma Prime, Vaker Heck, you name it, onto this thing, and it does obviously nothing. And obviously this is an Endurance part, so clearly they either got carried or just sit around doing nothing in the normal mission. Override complete. Move on. The alarms have triggered a Bursa. Mm -hmm. 
Now at the end of it, which we are at now, I will show you guys the build on the low key I've got. It's not really a specialized build or anything like that. I just made one minor modification. So on this particular occasion, we are lucky enough to get Breach Loader, which is the puncture mod for shotguns. Now, the mission is pretty grindy, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna take a bit, but having a chance of getting the puncture mod at a decent percentage, i.e. about 5.6% per mod, is not too bad. So 5.6 times 4, we're looking at about 22-23%. So here's the build, pretty simple. Alright guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!